So this is the, the same foot we just mapped. I'm going to go ahead and trim it and then I'll map it again. Um, so uh, First thing I'm going to do is you can see her sole plane in here. It's beautiful. There's nothing to touch in there. That's nice, firm, uh, live sole. It's calloused live sole. The bars are a little overgrown, you can see, if you look at them. But they're floating right on top of that nice sole plane. So this, there's a little lamina that's curled out here. It's not, it's, it's come out with that separation, but it hasn't um, left, it's, it's separated at the wall, not at the sole. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these bars to the peripheral, to the peripheral edge of the sole, and I'm just gonna go right along the, the sole plane. See, it's just not even connected right there and those bars will bruise the sole if they're long even on a two-week trim you can see there's a little bruise right there so it's good to keep them it's good to keep them off the, I should have done this little thing first so you can see but now they're free from making contact I want that to I need to maintain that through the trim so the next thing I'm gonna do is take her the dead frog off And you can see the, the chalky stuff right there. That's the layer between the live and the dead. So I'm trimming to that. I'm not going past that. And that'll all grow back in within a couple weeks, maybe even in a week. Okay, I'll do this again. So you can see how much clearance I have now with the frog. Now I'll take the wall off. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is take this, there's a little rough edge back here on the frog. That's where they land heel first, so that needs to be a smooth transition and comfortable. And then I'll just knock her heels down from the back. If you wanna get from the, I'll do this one in here. You can see I'm not taking them down, I'm just rolling them. She's maintained that heel height for 10 years now. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna take that one from the front claw. I'm just taking it from the back and shaping it. I'm not knocking it, I'm not taking it down. It's not this type of a thing. It's rolling from the back like they would wear it for themselves if they were moving heel first. Okay, so that's the heels. I'm gonna take her walls. <laughs> oh, Marie. To the peripheral edge of the sole. The only place you see the lamina is right at the toe between the two pillars. That's the only place I expose the lamina. Leave a little height at the heel. Yeah, I'll stop right. Getting far away from her. Be right back. <laughs> hey, you. Come here, Marie wants you back with her. Okay, now you can see on here, she has a nice, thick inner wall. That's the white. That's the white right here. There's her lamina right here. Between those two lines, there's the inner wall and there's the outer wall. Now, I'm gonna take the outer wall off from here, which won't take any of the thickness away from her foot but it'll keep the outer wall from touching the ground for a couple more weeks. I'm gonna take off everything 
outside of that blue line. And you can see, it's good to notice how evenly, uh, uh, how the even thickness of the lamina, the inner wall, and the outer wall. There's no distortion. If anything, there's a little bit right in there, and that all comes out with a really light trim here. And this is all the top dressing I need to do from the bottom. And all I've been doing for 10 years. Okay, I'll remap that this her foot here. Just put these lines back on. These lines should be per uh, perpendicular to the midline, and they should be um, parallel to each other. Okay, Marie. And then one more at the widest part of the foot, which is right there. All right, Marie. Marie wants to go for a ride. <laughs> okay. Hold on, then here's the coffin bone. And there's the lamina. Let me put my chaps down here and see a good backdrop. Hang on, Marie. Don't go anywhere, mister. I'll do that heel thing, too, with the rasp. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is, I'll put her foot down for a second. Someone asked about the heels. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of more quarter trimming right here. A little lamina. It's all dead stuff. I haven't touched her. This is all fully live foot now. So this is. And she's gonna land right there at the edge of my rasp. And then. That's where her heel first impact is going to be, and then when she puts, when she commits her weight to her heels, it's going to be right there, so she has room to push that frog down, and then she has clearance. Uh, a frog right here. <laughs> Good?